Så prøv lige at synke en gang. Prøv lige at synke. I decided to do it now for two things. First, uh, my stepdaughter tried it with the balloon and have had a magnificent result afterwards. So I basically got a little jealous, envy, you know, and thought, hey, maybe I can do it too. And I'm, I'm in the uh, trucking business, so I have basically been sitting still for the last 12 years. So I need something to happen now before it's too late. And I do expect to lose weight, and I do expect to lose a lot of weight in this year, 60 kilograms as a goal. If I hit uh, 80, I would be happy. And maybe 100, you don't know. It needs to happen now. Not in a year, right now. Now, now we are on the way to the uh, gym to make our, my third workout this uh, week. I feel fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I have had no problems whatsoever with the balloon. Uh, I sleep good, I eat sensibly and uh, it's just working out for me. I've lost uh, 43 kilos since the 7th of uh, February. My fat per percentage, it's gone down from uh, 48 to 40 and uh, that's quite pleasing and my uh, fat mass is down from 93 to 61. So uh, that's also quite nice. But my muscle mass is gone down from 96 to 86 and that's not so great. But I'm started to work out and uh, lift weights and abuse a rowing machine and uh, so forth. And my, uh, my BMI has gone down from 57 to 44. So that's also uh, quite pleasing in, in, in my world. It's uh, 33 kilos of uh, fat and 10 kilos of muscle. I was not supposed to lose muscle, only fat. But I was a very late starter on getting to the gym. Uh, my daughter pulled me down there by my hair and my ears. So, uh, and got me started and now I'm working out uh, three times a week, uh, 60 to 80 minutes a time. And I'm feeling like a much newer, quite younger man. My daily life has been much easier. Uh, I have a small trucking company and it's much easier to do my job in a uh, proper manner and in a, a faster way so we are making more money because I'm losing weight and my knees are so much more happy by hauling me around yeah I'm, I'm not using any painkillers whatsoever anymore it's like it's a, a big no-no uh, because I don't need them so I am checking my uh, blood sugar and my blood pressure once a month and that has been uh, stable throughout the the balloon period uh, I would say they should be 100% agreed with themselves about what they're doing and have as much support from their family as humanly possible because if you are sitting at the dining table and eating a small bowl of almost nothing and the rest is having the grand Danish Christmas dinner then it's, it, it can be a little troublesome but uh, on, on my account I haven't had those issues so uh, and my wife has also lost weight and gone down in, in, in body size we, we, we measured, uh, I bought a shirt and some pants before my daughter's wedding and my belly has gone down with 40 centimeters, 40 centimeters and my waist is down 20. No, 
not in a million years. Uh, the, the balloon has, I, I don't know if that counts for everybody, but I don't feel hunger. And I have to tell myself at, at evening, at now it's uh, 6.30, I have to eat dinner. If I don't say it to me, if I'm in the w w workshop f fixing an engine or something, I forget dinner and I'm not hungry. Because the, at my account, the feeling of uh, hunger and the feeling of being full is almost the same. It, it, uh, it had changed my taste um, significantly. I don't have a craving for sweets anymore and uh, crisp and chocolate and uh, licorice and I haven't touched it since the 7th of February because I don't have the feeling for it. The only thing there's a slight problem is with, uh, for instance, hamburger meat. I can eat it and I can totally chew it to absolutely porridge, but it takes a week for, for it because, uh, before it comes out again. But if there's a, um, a spaghetti with uh, meat sauce, or like bolognese, uh, it's okay, it just runs through the piping. I don't drink anything containing bubbles. So uh, no Coke, no Pepsi, uh, no anything. I drink, I drink a lot of water. Uh, I haven't tried to overeat, but I uh, one day when it, it was quite hot in Copenhagen, I think we hit the 26 degrees, uh, I over uh, drank and that was, I wouldn't say it was a painful, but it was a, a funny uh, um, wavy feeling of like blurping around, but it took three or four hours and then it, it, it was gone again. I will continue to work out as much as I can uh, when it fits in with, with my work and I will more or less continue to, to eat as I do now because I think it's going quite well. The 60 kilo mark is the bronze medal the 80 is the silver medal, the 100 is the gold medal, and if I hit over 100, it's pure Olympic.